praise the Lord, saints of God, body of Christ, bride of Christ. This is the prophetess of the Most Highest God. And today is October 28th, 2020. The Lord has given me something to give you guys encouragement. Take this message and hold it close to your heart. For this word is found in James 1.17. Be thankful. Every good thing given and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights with whom there is no variation or sifting shadow. Remember that, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. In the book of James. Let us go to the book of James. Praises, praises unto the Lord. For our God is a good God, a loving, faithful, caring God. Hallelujah. In the book of James. Okay. That was 117. Let us go to 18. Of his own will begat he us with the word of truth, that we should be a kind of first fruit of his create of his creatures wherefore my beloved brethren let every man be swift to hear slow to speak and slow to wrath for the wrath of men worketh not their righteousness of god wherefore lay apart apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness and receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your soul. But be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. For if any be a hearer of the word, and not a doer, he is like unto a man holding his natural face in a glass. Are you a hearer only? Or are you a hearer and a doer? of God's Word. Brothers and sisters, body of Christ, bride of Christ, we still have time to bring in those few lost sheep that God is waiting for. And then it's a few. Brothers and sisters, body of Christ, bride of Christ, many have seen signs and are looking towards the heavens but those who are not saved are seeing the signs but do not understand but we who have the understanding of what is going on we have to go out there and tell them we are the Bible they will read and listen to because many 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 that are out there in the world do not even have a Bible in their homes. Do not care to have a Bible in their homes. Do not care to hear the Word of God. But the Lord tells us to speak His Word, the oracles of God. They who have ears to hear will hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying to them. And those who do not have ears to hear will not hear because they are not of the Lord. They are not the sheep of the Lord. Remember what um, John 10 says. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that entereth not by the door unto the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. But he that entereth in by the door is the shepherd. Who is the shepherd of the sheep? Jesus. Yes, amen, amen. <clears throat> to him the door or the portal 
open it and the sheep hear his voice and he calls his own sheep by name and leadeth them out and when he putteth forth his own sheep he goes before them and the sheep follow him for they know his voice and a stranger with will they not follow but will flee from him for they know not the voice of the strangers verily verily i say unto you saith jesus i am the door of the sheep all that ever came before me and are thieves and robbers but the sheep did not hear them i am the door by me if any man enter in he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find greener pastures. Brethren, we must not give up hope, nor our faith. Faith, hope, and trust is what the Lord is looking for in each and every one of our hearts, that we are having trust faith and hope in him and continue having trust faith and hope no matter what so brothers and sisters body of Christ bride of Christ let us hold on and be thankful for what the Lord has given unto us and continues giving unto us to the day he calls our name up hither. Some people, it seems, are thankful even if they face challenges in life. Others have an attitude of lack, and nothing is ever enough for them. The good news is that we can cultivate an attitude of thanksgiving, of thankfulness. James said, every good and perfect gift comes from above. That means your life is a gift. Brothers and sisters, body of Christ, bride of Christ, your life is a gift. God sends us down to earth to do His will, to live for His Son Jesus, and to do His will here on earth. For we were sent down to earth for such a time as this. We could have been sent down to earth over 2,000 years ago on the day that Jesus was born and lived and taught. But we are on these last days, these last and final days, to bring forth the lost sheep, the harvest, into the storehouse. As he had called us to do, we should be doing it. The fact that you can read these words right now is a gift. Good health, ability to walk, to listen is a gift. That you are listening to what I am saying. The Father, coming down from the Father of life. Too often we take these blessings for granted, not appreciating them until they're gone. We don't appreciate good health until we find ourselves sick and in desperate need. We don't appreciate our vision until it begins to fail, to become blurry. Many of us have that happening to us now. We don't appreciate our hearing capacities until they begin to diminish. Beloved, let's thank God for every day for what He has have given unto us. The food that we eat, the home we live in, our friends and families. When we thank God for what we do have, He'll keep blessing us with more. For, so keep your eyes on Jesus, on Him and choose to be thankful. Every breath we take is a gift from above. Father God, 
Let us pray. Father God, help me to cultivate an attitude of gratitude. Help me to change my perspective so that I appreciate the blessings you have given me and rather not only to me but to my brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, the family of God, that we may focus on what we lack on and ask you to bless us for what we lack. Father God, help me to always be thankful. Amen and amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit, Father God, for all that you do, all that you have done, and all that you will do until the day that you come and snatch us away into the air and into heaven for all eternity. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen and amen. Be blessed, brothers and sisters, body of Christ, bride of Christ. And thank the Lord for, the, for waking you up today and blessing you in such a way. And don't keep your eyes or focus on your tribulation or your trials and tribulations that you had today. Be thankful. Be thankful. Be thankful. God bless you all. Shalom. Maranatha. We will see you in the air. And for the brother that complained about me having my glasses being um, showing the computer, I do my videos during the night, so I need my light on, and I need to have my glasses if I'm going to be reading things or, or uh, quoting scripture. So, if you don't like it, pray for me, because I need my glasses, and also, I pray for you, because... If you are a brother in Christ and you're over here complaining about little things, don't get on my channel. Don't listen to what God has told me to tell my brethren. Quit being a complainer in other words. Shalom.